Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Terry. It was lovely to have somebody here waiting. I was delaying just a little bit so that Hubby could get back in the house with the dog and all the noise making that goes with that could finish. So you were, you've been okay on the storm? I am um, working on more, more uh, little clusters today, but I'm not going to use any stones. I'm going to try and do flat things, using up my little pieces and do some flat things that will uh, lay nicely on pages. So happy, happy Wednesday. I like Wednesdays because I get to visit with friends. And because the week is moving along, the wind is blowing like crazy, so you guys should hear me accompanied by my chimes outside. I'm going to try and do something that's very hard for me today, and that's to not think too much <laughs> about what I'm, uh, what I'm putting together. So I just want to... Do some mass making, I guess, except that even when I do that, it's slow because I just like touching all the stuff. Hey, Took. Hi, Carla. How did your thing go yesterday? Sorry, I wasn't able to get over there. I do not have enough hours where I feel good in the day, that's for sure, but I had company yesterday. All right, needle is threaded. Let's just pick some fabric. And again, I'm just, oh, these are the not sharp, sharp scissors. Let's trade them out for some that actually cut. I think these are good. Oh, wow, Carla, that's fabulous. South Africa, awesome. All right, I am just gonna try and not think much. And that is so hard for me. Oh, this stuff does not. Oh my goodness, it's still wet. Okay, so we won't be using that stuff. Let's see, does it, is this still wet? Now my hands are gonna be all gunky green, weird stuff. Some envelopes and fish bits to wow I think it really helped that you put international giveaway in the title don't you I mean I think that really encouraged people from all over to uh, participate okay this seems dry I don't know why the green isn't dry I did that like months ago this is the um, like Halloween cobwebby stuff, but it's different than the old stuff they used to use at the dollar store. All right, we have this. Oh, maybe I don't want that color thread in there. Let's get a brown needle threaded too. So how many people did you have in the live? Do you remember? Normally I like to do a lot of layers, but I don't I don't know. Kind of like that like it is. Maybe we want a little bit of something green on top. Hey Janet. Oh 50-50 Americans and 50-50 other countries. That's terrific. I'm glad you had a good out. Wow. Dedication to come see Carla. That's awesome. How are you doing today, Janet? You in the office? See, now I said I wasn't going to do any stones, and I feel like I want something in the center there. Um, ah, but we have other stuff. We have twigs. We can do twigs, right? Or just something very... Okay, I like this, but we want three. These are needles from... A fir tree. They were in the gutter at my neighbor's house. <laughs> All right. 
Now I was going to try and use up my um, scraps of not dyed fabric. And you know what? I just couldn't get into it. It just wasn't appealing to me. So we're going to go this way. And I could glue these, but I kind of don't want to. I, um, I did mean to bring it over, though, in case I needed it. Uh, I do have some glue. Well, that's matte medium. That would work, too. Um, here we go. So I do have my art glitter glue if I want it, but I'm going to try and not use it. Wow, I cannot believe the wind here right now. Okay, now I'm going to have to go get some more of these little needles. Thank goodness my husband is indulgent when we're, we're walking and I stop to dig things out of the gutter. Well, they weren't in the gutter. They were in the middle of the street. We have all the redwood trees around us. And the other night when we went walking, uh, the winds had blown down a bunch of small redwood branches. So I grabbed all those. And uh, today I'm sure we're going to have more things that went down. So, oh, shoot, I forgot to bring in my madrone bark. Uh, my neighbor or friend that came over yesterday, she brought me a bunch of the shavings or peelings from the madrone tree. And they are, oh, they're gorgeous. They curl up when they come off the tree, but they're so thin, they're like paper. And I wanted to see if they would crack if I stitched through them. So I'll have to try those later. Hey, Beverly. Hi. Happy to have you here. All right. So I could stitch up there, but it kind of looks better without it. So maybe we're going to, okay, grab the Fabri-Tac too. We'll do just a tiny, tiny bit of glue. Just a tiny bit to hold that part down. And you guys might get sick of me doing these for the next few weeks. I'm, I'm so close to finishing the studio reorg that I really don't want to start something new. Uh, Drats, I did not bring. And this will work. I don't want that much glue. I want just the tiny bit. Yep, that'll do it. Just a little bit. Well, 45 is still a lot of people. Ah, oh, here's the baby white. That's what I wanted. Let's see. Do we maybe just a tiny bit down here? Tiny bit. All right. Well, I like that one just like that. And that's not too thick, so that could go inside a journal and it's not going to add too much. I'll just do a few more stitches. Isn't it funny how sometimes just going to a live for the first time, somebody's live for the first time, it's like, being at a cocktail party with a bunch of people you don't know. And I do the same thing. I'm kind of shy in the corner and don't say much. So I'm really hoping that by the end of the weekend, I will have finished the studio reorg. Oh gosh, I love that a lot more than I thought I would. That is the plan anyways. Get her done. Because then I need to work. Well, that means the inside studio. And the outside studio is pretty much done. And then I need to work on the garage studio so that I can move a lot of my messy stuff out there. And that I can do paper dyeing and paper making even when it's super hot. Well, Janet, it's good to have a job, right? We can't complain there. So 
So I'm a little freaked out when I walk around the studio and I see how many empty shelves I have. I mean, I know some of them are designated for stuff going forward. Ooh, I like that. It could go either way, huh? But I have um, three huge shelves empty waiting for all my leaves that are still drying. All right, I need to make myself a pin cushion. <laughs> Okay, let's put this one aside. I see this little bit of blue, and I see this blue. Let's just layer up some blues. Yeah, our hobbies don't pay the bills. Well, this doesn't pay the bills either, even though it's my job. But it does buy my supplies. We're going to make this a little smaller. Really, I was going to try and work with my my other fabrics, and I just, I think I'm over commercial fabrics unless I've dyed them and done something to them, which means there's even more stuff to de-stash. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to make more messes now. What I'm trying to do is, even though I know there's a lot more stuff in the studio that can go, I'm trying not to take more of it out right now because I, I got to get back to work. I want to finish some projects, well, one big project because... Uh, mostly because I want to get paid because it's a an order, big order. And then because I have the shelf earmarked for something else. And I tell you, I, you know, I'm looking around the studio and I'm thinking, oh, I need to find a way to store this and I need to find a way to store that. And then suddenly uh, I realize I have more out in the garage that would cover all that stuff. So I, I haven't had to buy any storage things, which is really nice. All right, what do we have over here that's blue? Is this crazy? I keep all these little threads, but I love it. I love them. Uh, is that a dark blue? Yeah. So what is everybody working on today? After this, I'm going to see if I can get the island cleaned off in the studio one more time. Let's see, I wonder if these guys will shred any. Oh, it looks like they'll shred even more. Oh good, let's get them kind of fuzzy. My goal is Saturday to be out in the garage. And then I have to oh, I have to change the papers on all my stuff that's drying. My friend that brought me bark yesterday, she brought me a whole bunch of ferns and they're awesome, but they were pretty wet, so I've got to change the paper again today so I don't lose them to mold. Sunflowers. Ooh, I love sunflowers. This is not going to need very much. Maybe a knot Let's see. Well, you've got a pretty journal in your shop right now, um, Janet. I forgot the name of it. The last one you just put up, really pretty. Anybody that's got an Etsy shop, um, I'm not going to open up the links, but you can certainly say the names of the shop in the chat so people can go check you out. I've been thinking about you lately, wondering where you were and how you were doing. Hi, Mary Lou. Welcome. You got some amazing entries in your challenge, Piero. Pier ah, I never say your name right, do I? I probably never say it right. Sorry about that. All right, let's... Did I... Boy, all my scissors are dull. I think it's time for a scissor shopping spree. Okay, this is kind of tedious, but I like the look. I'm just putting the needle inside the... Yeah, it's not going to work very well. Well, it would work if I had patience. I don't have as much patience when I'm live. I feel like, oh, you guys are just watching paint dry. You need to, you need to see something actually happening. But...
You have two friendship journals. Is it too much for one? That's fabulous. Wow. Well, you are well loved. And it was it was such a wonderful project to do. Let's see if I can get one more little. Okay, that looks kind of raggedy. I like that. Uh, we'll do here, here. I don't like that top piece. And it needs it needs a little something something else. What else does it need? Ah, I get some little blue cheesecloth. Exactly, Carla. And that's what, you know, I, last night I was playing because I had some ideas for two or three things, but they weren't things that were calling to my heart. And I just, uh, I had to stop myself and I thought, well, okay, so people might just get sick of seeing me do these same things for a while, but these are the things that are not going to overwhelm me if they're sitting around the studio for a while. So this is what I'm going to be working on, and I will probably do this for the next few weeks while I finish up my reorganization stuff, because otherwise it just, last night I was starting to get stressed again, thinking about what I was going to work on. I thought, no, I, I don't want that. All right. Evidently, we do need Fabri-Tac today. That's okay. And I figure, you know, if it gets to be too much, then I will just stop doing the lives. But I don't want to stop because right now, because of all the other stuff I'm doing, I'm not doing a lot of other videos. So this at least is keeping me a bit connected. All right, let's just layer this up here. Oh, Mary Lou, whoops. <laughs> He wrote, oh, so you had from all the country, too. That's amazing. You and Carla both. Well, it's wonderful when, you know, we can include people from the different countries because so often people, you know, for the expensive mailing have to uh, say no to them and they get left out of a lot of stuff. So I think it's awesome. And you're right, Carla. You just have to slow down and enjoy the lives. But I also think I need to just pay attention to do during the lives. You know, it's it's going to be more like you're just looking over my shoulder, whatever I'm working on that day for my own projects. And then if I'm doing educational stuff, it'll be a separate video because I've got kind of those in the works. But all right. And then this we're just going to kind of stitch on. All right. Oh, that's great, Kira. What are you? Is it something that people in other countries can use, or is it a Germany thing? Or glue books are great, great for mindless activities. They really are. Has anybody here in the chat used? Um, and I guess it's a U.S. thing. Pirate ship, which is supposed to. I guess pass on the commercial postage. It's free. It's an app, um, but it passes on the commercial postage to us. Whoops, my little one came out. Let's see how we can fix that one back in there. Um, hmm. I always like a little bit of something dangling. Well, that's great. Wow. Just sending out five should not be a problem. You can always add a happy mail in or something if you need to. Mary Lou, I do the same thing. I Since I'm planning to do a live sale, maybe in another month or so of my D-Stash stuff, I've been turning on old sales. 
that people have done just so I could kind of watch and see how they work and what kind of prices are reasonable for things. And it just, yeah, it feels like you're, you know, hanging out with friends while you're working. Stamps.com. Yeah, I used them years ago. I think, I'm not sure, but I think Pirate Ship might be cheaper. I need to do a compare. For convenience, I use my little postal annex, but, you know, dang, they are um, they have to charge a you know, surcharge. That's how they stay in business. So you pay for the convenience. And I did that with my last mailing. It was like, ouch. Yeah, when they can pass on the commercial rates to the everyday person, that, that does make a difference. All right, I think that'll hold that. I like it when I get excited about what I finish. The stuff I was thinking about doing last night, it was like, no, this just, this was just to, to spend time. It wasn't, although I do want to play with my ink tents a little bit more. I like the ink tents because everything's permanent. All right, and I want my little something. Oh, well, I guess I don't need anything else on there. I think that's fine just like it is. We'll just say done. All right. What else do we got? Let's do a purple one. Uh, Carla, yeah, Erin, um, Closer, Closer, I'm not sure how you say her last name. She might pop in here a little later. Um, she uses it, and yeah, it's legit. It's got great reviews, but uh, I haven't done it yet. It's on my list, I think, to give it a try. I'm not quite sure how that kind of stuff works. I mean, I gained the. I don't know. I won't even pretend to know. I will not even pretend to know. Yeah, pirate ship. So I'm sure after the live, there'll be somebody that'll make something in the comments about it. So you can check back on that. All right, let's just take a little bit of this one. Some more purple here. Let's see. All my other scraps, something else that's a different purple. Uh, let's take a little bit of this. It's not purple, but I think it'll go. Victoria, how are you feeling today? I'm glad you joined us. Nothing is worse than feeling run down. We've all been there. Oh, that's right, this is the one that's done with my India ink, so it's going to be a bugger to fray. But you can wrap it up a little bit. Isn't that what fingernails are for, right? Doing all this stuff. Yay! Yay for good days. We need lots of good days, right? And we can hold on to those on the, the rougher days. Okay, yeah, I like the dark together. Hmm. that. All right. Kind of brown. I didn't bring any purpley stuff out. 
make it work. Purple and brown work, right? Purple and brown work. That and then some threads of some kind. Oh, going around where we need to, to get out and move more. I've just started uh, started walking in the evenings, and I haven't done that for quite a while. So trying to get back in, in shape again. Well, I shouldn't even say in shape. Just trying to get to where it doesn't hurt so much to walk. The in shape is a ways away. I wish I had something purple in the center of that. Maybe we can just steal some threads from this. Yeah, Zoe said hello. The wind is blowing, and there's so many smells that come up with the wind that just make her crazy. And I just remembered that we've got deliveries coming at some point today. So my husband shut the door so that she can't decide to go through the screen and go after the postman or the UPS guy or whatever mail guy. She just, she does not like the sound of delivery trucks and she's really not crazy about people coming up to the door. All right, I like that better, but the problem with this one is this thread is too thick. So, uh, oh, let's do the brown. Oh, Piero, you know, you can make, you, you work when you want to work. I'm always so grateful for the, the people that do some work on my design team for me and edit. As always, anybody that's here watching or that's watching the replay, if you want to do a guest design team project for me, just send me an email at susantaylorbrown at gmail.com and we can chat about it. Are you going to do anything special for your holiday month? So all this stuff that I've got here that I'm working with is either the little fabric scraps that I have dyed are left over from other projects and then uh, the threads, you know, left from sewing or from tearing apart. Oh, I didn't put any fabric tack on there. Um, tearing things apart it just shows you you don't need to go out and buy a lot of stuff. I mean, these scraps are tiny but they're gonna make some really interesting clusters. Ah, did not wanna get Fabri-Tac on the glue, on the threads there, dog on it. Oh well, there'll be a little sheen to it there. I mean, these are small, so you've, you've probably got something that's small like that that you can do. Oh, wow, the Netherlands. We love the Great Pyrenees. There's one around the corner, Juliet. And Zoe got to meet Juliet when Juliet was just a puppy. So, of course, she was quite small as a puppy. And then as Juliet has grown and gotten to where she's, you know, twice the size of Zoe, but she still remembers her from the puppy days, and they love each other. This looked like great big teddy bears to me. There's another one up the street, but Zoe doesn't like that one for some reason. Well, it is exciting to meet people in real life that you've only talked to via the Internet. Foreign thrift stores. Oh, Janet. Whoa. Hey, 
Victoria, no deadline, not whatsoever. Go take a look at my shop and uh, let me know what you want me to send you and give me an email that you want me to send it to. Love to have you work on something. Yeah, I've met writing friends that I had only um, visited with online. It was really before YouTube. It was more just old bulletin boards, that kind of thing. Sometimes the threads are too long. There we go. I'm really liking these. They're just nice and flat, and they are not going to fatten up a page. Wow, foreign thrift stores. Well, I know you'll be looking for lace because I know how much you love lace. So is travel um, safer for you right now, Piro? Or are you dry? You know, I, I don't know. Will you be flying, driving? I'm, my geography really stinks that I have to say something like that. But train. <laughs> All right, I like this a lot. All right, I'll tell you guys a great big secret. Well, it's not a secret, but I'll tell you something that I haven't spoken about on here before. I met my husband online. We, uh, we were on a role-playing game storyboard, and talking stories and talking writing and all that kind of stuff and yeah and that was like 25 years ago so a lot of fun to to meet those people and you feel what's fun when you've been chatting with them for years online is it's like you've always known each other Five to six hours. Oh, sorry, mom, mom, sorry. I yeah, just textiles is just really interesting. And then you can always add some, you know, a little something from nature if you want. I mean, my little things from um, the garden, but try, I was trying to keep these flat. I mean, I love doing the ones with the stones, but I realized, you know, I really needed some flat things. And I mean, when you combine, you know, some cheesecloth, some threads, I mean, you can get some really nice varieties. And I haven't even made a dent in my stash of little tiny scraps. Let's do something with this little piece. That's rather blue. Or maybe we need to do blue. This one will go with this. This will go with this. Do something here. And I mean, I get pieces like this that I wish were bigger because it's just, I love the pattern on it, but let's, let's use it. Oh, the wind, Zoe, it's the wind. And now it sounds like somebody's, this. we're in the mountains, so there's a cluster of mail services in the road outside my studio door, and whenever people walk up to get their mail. She feels like they're coming onto her property. That's right, you too, Terry. Yeah, it's, uh, it's wonderful to meet people and fall in love. We chatted for so long and And there have been chances to meet some people that I didn't follow through on, and I'm, I regret now. Let's see. I don't like that curve, but I probably don't need that much of it.
Hmm. There. Okay, now what do we need to add? Uh, do brown. We can do green. This is another thing I got from the dollar store years ago. I wish I had more of it. It's like a cotton fish net and it takes dye really well, but I'm running out of it. Yeah, cheesecloth is in all the different sizes. I'm, you know, cheesecloth comes, if people don't realize it, in a lot of different sizes. So this is like a cheesecloth, except it's not because it all pulls through really easily. So then I end up with all these threads. But, you know, you've got the little tiny things of cheesecloth. And then I thought I had some more. Eventually everything gets out of its little containers. But you get some cheesecloth that's as white as burlap. Oh, I have some burlap too. Hmm. And I have already misplaced my needle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What color did I use? This color. So what did I do with the needle? Well, there's the thread. Well, dang it. I don't know what I did with the needle. <laughs> I was rejoicing earlier before I came on that I had found all my missing needles, and now they're missing again, missing one again. Oh, well. A partner. I'm really bummed that I lost that needle again. Ah, 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 maybe. No, let's keep finding that same thread. I must have pulled right through it. Well, if somebody sees something shiny on my desk, let me know. We will thread another needle. I have bad needle habits, evidently. Um... No, nope, not the thick stuff. Did I not bring any of the... This is a little bit thinner. It's the color I want. This is a huge needle. I don't need this huge needle. Good night, Piero. Sweet dreams. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are the needles with the very tiny holes. No, nope, we need we need more help. We need a needle with a larger hole. Oh, and is this one already threaded? It is. Okay, well let's just use this since it's already threaded. Hey Mary, how you doing? I am fiddling today, just fiddling. How do we think the raffita looks? Is this going to look good or not? Hmm. All right, let's just stick this. There we go. We'll stick that in my ball and then I won't lose it. No, I don't like the raffita. It's a different piece of fabric. I kind of like that. All right, let's see. And I really should have brought something to glue on, but I did not. Let's do the art glitter glue. See if that'll work. I think it will on fabric. Yeah, I, I'm a major fiddler.
Let's see. Yeah, there's no substitute for Fabri-Tac when you're working with fabric. Or well, I guess maybe there is, but not for me. Or the three-in-one, same thing. Oh, fun times, errands. Hopefully they are errands where you can mostly stay in your car. I have to run a check out to the uh, city offices for a permit for our generator that we keep hoping will come back in stock soon. The one we want has been out of stock for weeks, but they did finally get back to me on how much money they wanted for the permit. But I just have to drop that in a mail slot so I don't have to talk to any people. All right, so these are the three I've done. I haven't even looked at the time. So I'm not being fast on these, but that's okay. I'm, I'm being happy. Let me get the little pink out of there because I really don't need the pink. There we go. All right. You know, and these can go, um, that you could make them a tab. You could, uh, you know, add something to the, you know, to the center of them if you wanted. You could just put them on the corner of a page. You could add them to a pocket. You could add them to an envelope. So things like this I know I will always use. So I don't feel bad about making up these ahead of time. A lot of the make-aheads discovered that, you know, I'm they're not quite right for a certain project, so I still have to make more. And of course you could do all this nice and fast with glue if you wanted to, but really this seem stitching like this seemed like a a nice thing to do while we were chatting. Oh, I had some wool roving I could have brought too. But, you know, it's funny, as you think you need so much, but can you imagine doing something like this, how long it's going to take me to use up all these threads? It's going to take forever. So you don't need to rush out and get the latest and greatest everything necessarily. I mean, it depends on, on your projects, and it depends on your style. I mean, this, this goes with my style. If you're somebody that likes to do a lot of work with scrap paper, then, of course, you're always waiting to see what the latest uh, designs are coming out on that. I think that's all going to hold. Doesn't need very much. I like it. I like it. So now it means I'm going to have to figure out something to do with all the little scraps like this of my commercial fabric since I'm not going to be making clusters and things with them. So I think it'll be time to do some um, making of some bigger pieces of fabric from it. There we go. All right, what do we have sitting around here? Let's do another purple piece. Hey Beverly, welcome back. Hey Beverly, welcome back. Yeah, those of you with shops, Janet, did you put your shop name in? Okay, dropping off is good. Anybody else with shop names? And I will. You know, my, my shop name is Poppiness, P-O-P-P-I-N-E-S-S. -S. Purple variety, purple. Wow, this is a paper towel, but it's got some purple. That might work. Uh, You know, even if you had the same fabric and you just cut it into different um, lengths and widths, 
and stitched it together, you would get some interesting results. Yay, Janet, I'm so happy for you. It was a beautiful journal. I'm not surprised it sold. Okay, people, hit Beverly up with who's doing crafts on their channel. You can check out Caged Fish. That's with a K. K-A-G-E-D, fish, all one word. She does a lot of collage and handmade books. Um... You guys have to hit her up with some more options. <clears throat> Let's see. I really wish I'd brought some more purple out. I forgot I had purple here. All right, let's see if we can get another shade. All my little scraps are on bulb pins and then on my big binder ring. And Needs to be a dark purple. That's a little different. Uh, yeah, it's a different material. All right, we'll take something from here. Now, what I like about doing this on the bulb clips and like this, then I can just snip off the little bit that I want. All right, so... Maybe we do them at a little more of an angle. This guy's a little too wide. Let's cut it in half. Hey, Shelby. AIW. What is AIW? Oh, weird. On the, well, my husband's in a meeting, so he could be doing a lot of internet stuff, too. So we're sharing bandwidth right now. If it's on my end, I'm sorry. Nothing I can do about that. All right. And I think this one is too wide. It's bothering me. So this is going to be a tiny cluster. Oh, Alice in Wonderland. Okay. That's a very popular journal theme, seeing some beautiful, beautiful journals. All right, now I don't have enough variety, huh? So, okay, angle that. And then let's accent with maybe some white cheesecloth. Still too big. I have a lot of cheesecloth because I, you know, wasn't thinking about how really, you know, we don't use large amounts of things. And something else. A little piece of bark, maybe. It's not going to add too much pull, but that's too big. This is itty bitty. So this is just a little piece of grass that's dried. All right, I like that. Again, working on keeping it simple. Boy, the wind. Okay, Victoria, I'll get back to you after um, 
after we meet here. Yep, I do that too, although whenever I'm dyeing stuff, you know, dyeing fabrics, I'll do some cheesecloth at the same time. So I have it in all sorts of different colors. Not here where I'm working because that would have been convenient, you know, so there is that. <laughs> This, I'm going to put these guys, oh, and we probably want some threads, because I always want some threads, because they make me happy, they make me happy, let's see here, do some of these, without the green, and then we want some purple threads, so we need to steal some. Ooh, this almost looks purple on this. It does look purple on the side. Now it's really brown. Okay, no, I still want the threads. Oh, maybe one of these other purples will give me threads better. It's not like I need a lot. I just need a few. like harvesting from my fabric garden, right? <laughs> that should be plenty. Readers and elements Okay, so we'll be waiting for you when you get up in the morning, probably. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can kind of smoosh that together. All right, I like that. So we want a teeny tiny dab, just a little dab. And it is hard to do just a little dab of Fabri-Tac because, of course, as soon as you'll do that, it burps. That's all I want is just a dab to hold some of this. All right, and then I want these guys to be at different lengths this time. I don't imagine that little seed head's going to stay up there very long, but it could surprise me. Whoops, it does help if you put a knot in your thread. I can tell you that for sure. Sort of thinking maybe I should, no, we're just gonna, we're gonna go with this. Well, I admire those of you that can like do the different theme challenges within a time frame because I stink at doing those sorts of things within a time frame. I think I rebel because for so long when I was writing, I had to get, you know, articles in at a certain time. And it's nice not to have those deadlines. All my deadlines now are self-imposed. Hey, Suzanne, how are you, Suze? Are you having an awesome Wednesday? I am using up scraps on my little bits. On my, let's put these down where people can see at least what I've done so far. Trying not to sew right through the sticks because that would not be good.
really want to make sure I gather all the threads that are under here so they don't just decide to drift off of the cluster. I'm doing awesome today. Wednesdays are great because I get to hang out with my friends. Love it. Actually, this is a very social week for me because I had company yesterday and I've got a huge Zoom call on Friday and then I've got another Zoom call on Sunday. It's like, oh, I'll be all socialed out. Need a weekend to recover from my weekend. What did your niece love, Terry? I feel like I missed something. I'm I'm not all. I still don't have the right glasses to be able to work like this and then read the chat. And I've just been putting off going back to the eye doctor. Kind of want to see if I can make it till the end of the year since we've already used my glasses insurance for this year. but I'd also like to see better. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna say that needle is done. And which one of these is the thinnest? Oh, this one's even thinner. All right, I'll use this one next time. Oh, the house. You keep losing me. I don't know why, Shelby. There's nothing else I can shut off over here. I guess it's just because my husband's got his stuff going with work, too. Normally, our internet is really well, um, really well done. Well done. That's an awesome sentence. Normally, we don't have problems with our internet. We've got pretty good service, but um, and it could be also that if he's downloading something and I forgot to remind him that I was going live so I'm sorry for the stuff going in and out so your niece is going to rent your house is that right Terry so that let's see we should do another blue right Ah, did not mean to cut that one at an angle. Okay, let's see if we can shred that. Okay, you're not having problems. So Shelby, your computer and my computer, we're not talking together so nice, huh? It's so frustrating when you wanna watch somebody and the internet is not cooperating. All right, I like that. Uh, what do we have that has, I think I brought my rusty ones out. Hmm. Oh, I'm doing all this off, sorry. Trying to find something to go with this. You need a really dark blue. Let's try some of this and see. Oh, what part of it do we like? We like this part. Let's get a nice narrow strip of that. Oh, these scissors are killing me. Well, darn, Beverly. I can, I can see all the chat. I am sorry that stuff keeps disappearing.
Yeah, hit refresh. Um, yeah, these are all threads I've collected from when I do a project, and I just save them all in little bags by the color. Well, Janet, when you want to get brave and do a, another video, you know, you can do a guest design team project for me. It takes courage to do the videos. It really does. And each time I do them, each time I, you know, stop doing them for a little while, I get frustrated with myself because I forget. It's like, you know, this, oh, maybe I like that better. Hmm. Maybe I want this one to be narrower. I like that little bit of red. And then I have things like this, which are strings from the tea bags. And I'll save those because I have way so many, I have so many tea bags. We drink a lot of tea. And then the strings, I do the same thing. I can either distress them or I'll pop them in the dye when I'm dyeing fabric or pop them in the pot when I'm doing eco printing or wrap them up in something when I'm resting. And that way I get a variety of size, you know, and weights of fibers in different colors. All right, so now we need one more something something on there from textile. Ooh, ooh, there's a, that's the wrong shade of brown. Should have brought my other ones out. Let's see. Nothing is calling to me. Uh, it's introducing too many colors. If I take just that little bit of the, that's a different color brown. Well, fiddlesticks, fiddlesticks. Uh, we can figure this out. It just might take a few minutes. Yeah, and I had one that was all mixed up for the longest time, and then I finally decided, you know, go ahead and just sort them because my OCD was complaining. Something, nothing feels right. Nothing feels right on this one yet. It's not quite the right color. I can hear stuff crashing out on the deck. That's the same one. Um, okay, maybe we just go with that. Maybe we just go with it. I brought lace out to try, but... I'm just not feeling the lace lately. This is kind of stiff. So what happens if we use this? I don't like it. Okay, we're gonna put this one aside for a little bit and do something different. Cause I'm not, not feeling that one. And that's the same color. All right. This is definitely brown, tan, and it's looking good with this little piece of sari silk. Oh, I hate editing too. I, I very rarely edit. I edit when I do the like finding free images videos. I edit those pretty heavily, but otherwise I don't edit. Yeah, I was going to do a bunch of sped up videos and I just finally said no. If I when I get back to just doing craft with me kind of stuff, it's going to be this is it. You can hang out, you can skip ahead. All right, let's see burlapy stuff. What do we have? Maybe this was from a placemat I think that I found at the thrift store. I like those little threads. And I like that little bit of sorry silk. Okay, I like those guys together. Oh, see now, this is insane, I know, but here's a little piece of paper, and I saved it because I love this paper. All right, so the browns are not going to be a problem. We need another something. Threads. Oh, this strange stuff would work. 
And then I didn't bring the brown threads out. I just had the green threads. Oh, there's a little bit in there. Okay. All right, we're going to make this one work. Oh, and we could also add a little piece of something from the garden. Too dark. Oh, these are the right color too, my little needles. And three is a good number. I know, I love this paper, the handmade paper, and I've got so much paper. It just I need time to get back to doing the kind of crafting I want to be doing. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind another piece of brown, though. So that I can get back to my torn paper collage. Hmm, that's too much of the same. I'm doing it to myself again. Uh, normally I always bring out my browns with my greens. This time I was not thinking. I'm better at filming when, well, it's not people, it's just me and my husband. But, you know, it's just a routine, you know, that we have as to when different things happen throughout the day. So, and I have to take into account, you know, his work schedule and, okay, I can make this work. I can make it work, right? I can make it work. And you just kind of go at an angle on this. Let's fray the sari a little more. We'll have more threads, right? Thank you, folks, for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. All right, I like that. And then... Save, oops, there should be one, there we go. One, two, three of those. Let's see if I can unravel. There's my needle. Let's not lose another needle. I love making these during the live because then when I'm done, I've got stuff that I know I'm going to use. Well, I'll use the browns and greens and then I'll probably the purples and the blues will eventually end up in my shop. All right, I like that. It's a little less precise. These guys look good. Just a little bit of the threads. Paper. All right, let's glue in layers here. Do just a dab on the paper. And that should hold that. The stitches will hold the rest there. And now we'll do just a little bit of glue, just the tiniest bit of glue. Tiny and Fabri-Tac probably don't go together very well, right? <laughs> I don't want the glue to go down on my desk. I used to have a glass top on this, which was really great, except that it because we bought this used off one of the local sites years ago, but it hung over the edge too much. So I got rid of it and then I have not gotten around to getting another one. Come on, just a tiny, tiny dab. Like 
that. And then this guy is going to go there. And then my three little things are going to go. I might even see if I can do that. I wonder. Let us try. All right. Ah, <laughs> that idea didn't work. <laughs> okay. That's all right. We'll sew it on. We will sew it on. Hey, Nettie. You're late. You're right. We were taking roll and you weren't here. <laughs> How are you doing today, Nettie? Okay, Janet, talk to you later. Have a great e afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. You're still in the same time zone as I am. Okay, the trouble with Fabri-Tac, as we all know, is it does stick to us. And if we're not careful, we'll pull everything apart. Oh, I like this one. I'm liking this one. Which is much better than getting to the end of something and saying, oh, I can't stand this. Why did I spend all my, which is where I was last night. It was like, no, I want to, I want to finish something and say, ooh, can't wait to put this in a journal. Spray that up a little bit. This one here, a little more. There we go. So it doesn't look like it just came off of the machine. What am I doing on time? Oh gosh, Victoria. Oh, that would be horrible. I have so many clothes that have now become art clothes. Well, of course, I don't really go out much anywhere, even before the pandemic, that most everything was art clothes. But I'm my famous thing is that I will spray and not pay attention to what I'm spraying, you know, where I'm spraying. And I pay attention to where I'm spraying, but I don't think about the overspray. And I have sprayed so many things that I can't get the, the paint off of. Very frustrating. I think that's going to hold just fine. So this makes number five. But it's not a race. Just trying to do some nice flat ones that can go on pages inside a journal and not add a lot of bulk. Except for perhaps my knots, which evidently I need to practice. <laughs> All right. That color combination, I like that a lot. Well, we just so happens that we have the same material still. We can do, do it again. Maybe I'll package these in sets. That might be something to do. The colors that I'm not likely to use might be somebody else's favorite colors. All right. Can, is that big enough? It's almost big enough that we can cut it in half, huh? So just, you don't need to use a lot of anything, you know, it's just the little bits.
All right, so maybe then this one becomes narrower. Make it a little different than the other one. All right, so we have that, and we have the sari. And... see I'm checking out my little fabrics over here it's got a little hint of green so it'll again be a little different than the other one all right so we got those three we've got a little bit of bark I don't think that's going to add too much this is actually cinnamon bark we had some dead cinnamon sticks and my husband has now learned whenever he's getting ready to throw something out in the kitchen that isn't going to go bad to ask me if it's something that I can use and of course I say yes because why wouldn't I all right so we need a little darker brown use some of this weird stuff Stuff is like angel hair when you get it. This is the weird stuff from the dollar store for Halloween. But then, depending on what I use to color it, it gets really hard. Or in the case of my greens, it looks like the green distress spray never dried. Because I did these like a month ago. All right. So, we've got this. Yeah, let's just, let's do this. We are going to add just a tiny bit of glue to the back of this. Okay, Victoria, talk to you later. You got Magnatac, so that means like you can glue anything and it's gonna stick. I never heard of that. The three-in-one is sometimes cheaper and seems to work just as well as far as I'm concerned. I think I can do this without any more glue. Let's see. Hey, Valerie. Just saw you. Welcome. Suze. Oh, Suze, you you and Terry both have the Magnatac. Wait a minute here. I got a I got a page. I've never heard so a pro version. I'm not quite sure how how much of a difference that makes, what that difference of that that makes for things, but be interested to hear how it works for you. All right, this can be tricky, but I'm just going to try and not glue it. Yeah, Suze, tell us about the Magnatac. What is it just supposed to be stronger? What makes it a pro version? A lot of people that are already using Fabri-Tac probably think they're pros already. So what would be, would it hold stones? Would Magnatac hold stones on things? Because that's always an interesting, it's good for leather, wood. Ah, on the runway, okay. Oh, I should have brought out my little feathers, too. I have a bunch of little feathers that would have been nice on these. But, of course, I can always go back and glue one on the front. That might be really good on some of these. Yeah, if that would if the magnet tack would hold stones, I would be interested in that. 
Glossy accents will hold stones, but I don't necessarily want the gloss. If I can hide it, I like that idea better. I mean, I guess Fabri-Tac is glossy too, but hopefully just want to get something to adhere the stones without using the epoxy. Yeah, I like these. They just kind of look random flying in the wind kind of stuff. Nettie, that's the whole idea. Just, you know, you start with layers. Remember, gesso is your friend. If you have gesso or take a look at um, some of the homemade recipes for gesso or diluted white paint and just kind of kicks everything in the background and then you have just the hint of something, you'd be surprised what a difference it makes to have underpaintings. All right, we're going to call this one done. I will not get 10 of these done today, but that's okay. Anything that gets done is more than I had before I started. Ah, do not need to go back through the fabric. Here we go. Two, four, six, seven. All right, my needle over there. Uh, green. How do I not have more greens? Because you know that's my favorite color. Let's take a bit from this one. Oh, had some of that down. Okay. And that's kind of more of a brown. What else do we have here? All these different shades of green. Now I'm looking at this, I can see the pattern. You see that? If you can see the pattern, yeah, on this. So this was material that I wasn't crazy about, but the backside was plain enough that when I dyed it, you see just a little bit of it. And I love it. I love that coming through. Hmm. Not loving my greens. Let's see. We know I have lots of greens on here. All right, let's see if we can find a different green. Mmm, eeny meeny. Kind of like this. Cut it crooked, doesn't matter. Kind of like this. Let's see what that gives us to play with. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Come on, things. You need to talk to me. You need to tell me what you want to be. I like this. Oh, same price point, Suze. That's interesting. 
Okay, Terry, what you can lose located still in seal indoor adhesive. Ah, low fumes. I like that. Oh, you're having a mind block, Maddie? Oh, I should give you some of my writing prompts. So one trick for finding prompts is to look through magazines or newspapers and look at headings, headlines, and also look for questions. Because then if you cut them out and put them on your card or something, it's taken out of context from the newspaper or the magazine and you'll forget what it came from and you get some really interesting uh, results from that. I like things. Oh, lo Loctite. Ah. Yeah, I, the E6000, I, I agree. It's, I mean, it's the, the go-to for stones. I was trying to find something that doesn't smell crazy like that. So, uh, yeah, exactly, Terry. The fumes are killer. So I might look check for that other thing that you just mentioned. All right, I like this part. Loctite for your barrettes. Okay. It's good to know. Oh, I need to get some spackle from the hardware store anyways, so that's a good idea. I will check out some Loctite, too. Loctite doesn't smell bad. Nettie, I'll look and see on my writing website. I think I still have my prompts up there. If so, I'll send you the link later because they might give you some ideas. All right, oh, I like that one better. Okay, that's the one we're going with. And, oh, maybe something really dark. Just a few threads of that. We need one more piece of something. One more piece. Hmm. Do some different threads here. I'm not sure what else. Oh. Well, maybe some Lichen would go on there nice and got some moss. Do a little bit of both, huh? That's not very thick. And that goes down. All right, I forgot I brought that out. All right. First. Hi, Cheryl. Oh yeah, Gorilla Glue probably would. Knowing me though, like Gorilla Glue and and um, what's the other one? Crazy Glue. I make a mess all over the place. How are you doing today, Cheryl? Are you doing anything exciting or are you hanging out looking for motivation? Do just one little Tiny dab. I really need to put some Fabri-Tac into a bottle with a smaller tip. Doesn't need to be a big bottle, just a smaller tip to uh, not have quite so much come out at once. All right, we have that. And then another, let's see, maybe we'll put the dab on this. And a little dab on this. All 
Oh, yeah. Mod Podge or any kind of watered-down glue with tissue paper gives you some great texture. So do I need a twig? It's calling to me that it wants a twig. It's going to make it thicker. Let's see if I can do a little twig. Maybe just a single... Just a single twig. All right, what color thread? Brown? I think brown. Maybe I want a twig of a different color. These are from the eucalyptus. They are kind of red. Maybe I want... Oh, I like the darker one. Okay. This one's getting a little thicker than I wanted them to be, but it's okay. I still love it. Now I'm not sure what color thread. I don't have black out here. I think the brown will be fine. Just a single strand. Oh, you're right. I, you know, I need to, I keep meaning to order a Sugar Bell one. I need to do that. Thanks for that reminder, Suze. All right, let's rethread the needle. Yeah, I meant to do that like last month. I watched a couple of videos on it. I was like, oh, yeah, I need to grab one of those. And then I forgot. Oops, put the cap back on. Yeah, I use Q-tips for a lot of that kind of stuff. I uh, yeah, <clears throat> bought a big chunk of them at the dollar store. And I still have so many left. Oh, I like this. See, it just all comes together. You get all your supplies that you like to play with. And honestly, that's that's what I did. If I could pan around my desk right now where you could see the stuff that I've got here. I went shopping in the studio, and I have these little acrylic containers that I take with me. And I just filled them, you know, a bunch of different ones with stuff that spoke to me today. You know, and it's always nature stuff that's speaking to me. And then I came back in here and sat down with it, and that's the stuff that I'm working with. And as a result of doing that, I really enjoy looking at all the things that I have, you know, that I'm that I'm making. Occasionally, there is a very long gray hair in there. Oh well, that was the only dark twig I had in there, and it's just perfect, absolutely perfect here. <clears throat> oh, I just broke the twig. Ah, ah. All right. Uh, too much pressure. Guess that means that there will be more stitches holding this twig down. Oh, we'll crisscross. There we go. We'll make it look deliberate, right? Make it look like you meant to do that. Just do a whole lot of whole lot of stitches to hold it on. Yeah, I I need to do all that, Suze. I really do. Gosh, I don't have enough hours in the day. Somebody clone me. Then I could get everything done, right? I can't wait for you to get it, Nettie. You're going to love it. Dee Dee does such great work.
Uh, let's see here. I might sneak back in there with a little bit of glue on. Well, the top twig's okay. I think it's the bottom one now that needs something. But it might need a little bit, a little bit of glue. It might. That's what happens when you're working with you know, natural materials, you've got to be prepared that things will break. You'll open something and discover there's bugs. <laughs> Been trying to figure out a better way to store all my dried leaves and flowers, and which is why I'm not sorry to have all these empty shelves, because I think I have a system, but I needed the empty shelves. It's hard to hold this without putting any pressure on the twig. Wasn't paying attention. There we go. I think this twig is from my neighbor's walnut tree, and I was so excited. He told me I could take as many leaves as I wanted from his tree, and walnut leaves are one of my favorite things to use with eco printing because it prints so well. So I've got a bunch of those drying. I got so many things drying, and I wanted gather more leaves before before fall, but I need to get more newspapers or phone books or both so I have ways to dry them all. I just don't have enough. Yeah, she did use some of my digitals, Nettie. Oh, it's the first physical item you've gotten. You are going to go nuts. There is nothing like holding something that somebody else made in your hands. Um, every time I buy a journal, I get so inspired. Uh, just because somebody else might be using, they could even be using the same kit that you're using. And things come out completely different. It was one of the fun things my team and I did um, a few months ago is we did, everybody used the same digital kit, the Dragonflies kit. And everybody made whatever they wanted to with it. And so even though we were all using the same kit, everything came out so different. It was really interesting to see the direction that people took. This has got a lot more stitches than I normally would do, but it's because I now have two broken twigs on there that I want to make sure aren't going to go anywhere. So note to self, I should probably consider putting some glue on the twigs before I stitch them. But, you know, we make it work. Hi, Fabric Paper and Beads. Welcome. Happy to have you here today. Hope you are having an awesome day or evening, depending on where you are located. I am using up little scraps for making my, more of my little nature clusters. I guess I got time. Yeah, I got a little bit of time left. Maybe I lied. I might actually get to 10. I don't know. Depends on how easily my choices come together. You're in Texas. Okay, so you're just a little bit ahead of me here in California. All right. So, two, four, six, eight. Oh, I don't know. Can I get two done in 20 minutes? That way, if I'm looking at at 10 in two hours, that's not bad. Let's see if we can get two more done. I don't know. Maybe, maybe so, maybe not. Uh, we have some brown sari, which kind of looks like it goes with this. Okay, put my needle over there so I don't lose it again. Oh, maybe that was what I needed because that's got that same color. I like that color together. Uh, I like that. All right, that's a start there. And then we can put these guys together, but we need to shred it a little more. Ah, uh, that's sweet, Nettie. Dee Dee is awesome. I love her to pieces. 
And she's got so much energy. Okay, she is a lot younger than I am, but still she has so much energy. <laughs> All right, a little bit of cheesecloth. And we can add this one. Maybe this can have a little bit of the brown, sorry, stuff. We probably don't need the full width of this either, huh? Yeah, that's really wide. We can definitely cut that one down. And use it on that one too. All right, shred this, shred, fray, whatever, the sorry. Oh, thank you. Appreciate the kind words. Yeah, I'm live every Wednesday at noon my time here in California. And I usually go for two hours. I honestly, when I got on today, wasn't sure if I'd go two hours. thought, oh, maybe I'll only make it an hour. But you guys always charge me up. And then I want to keep working. So that's, I appreciate that. All right, let's, this guy, and I need a different cheesecloth. I buried my cheesecloths. I know I had a bunch out here in different, oh, oh, there's my missing needle from before. Yay. <laughs> All right, so that's good, but, ah. Uh, That might work. Piece of that, we'll see. Where is the other cheesecloth? Well, darn. There's a little bit of green. I guess that's all I have left. Okay. Um, could maybe use that white on that one. Not a lot of it. Yeah, I'll upload it afterwards. I'm just, th this is what I'm making. And I just have my scrap fabrics and things I love around here. And I've done these in the past and I've put like a, a precious stone in the center. And that adds a little bit of bulk. So I was trying to make some that are a little bit flatter this time. So they can go on the pages of a journal and not bulk things up too much. All right, let's see. And just trying to randomize, which is often hard for a lot of us to do. We we want to we want to make everything perfect. And see, this is what I love: the way it's cut, things are just kind of falling apart. It almost feels like that's too big still. I like that little bit of brown. I don't want to lose that little bit of brown at the top. Let's see if we can shred this some more. This is fabric that was dyed with my India ink. So when it's really thick right there, it doesn't want to shred much. Keep say shred and I mean fray, but you know what I mean because you're watching me. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. Maybe it doesn't need as much as I thought it did. Oh, Brenda, thank you. I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, it's hard when we have different names from our, our channels have different names than, uh, than we really use in real life. All right, I kind of like that. So then maybe we just use this little bit here. Let's spray this a little more. Hmm. A little too perfect. Maybe this is too wide. You know, and then if you cut something down and you think, oh, dang, you know, now it's too little, then just go find another scrap. You'll find a way to use, I mean, you see me using these little tiny things. You can use, you can keep working with this little stuff until you're down to the threads, and then you know I use the threads too, so. 
Alright, let's put cheesecloth behind a little bit. Just too white. Where's something brown? Um, all right, let's cut this piece off of here. Once it spreads out, it doesn't need to be much. I think this has the India ink on it too. I just want it to not look so precise where I cut it. Yeah, I have a hard time getting rid of it too. But I was saying earlier, I'm, I think I'm kind of over commercial fabric. So I'm going to need to figure out, well, some of it I'll de-stash and I need to figure out something to use, use the rest of it up. Huh. Nope, the orange just isn't working for me there. The browns are working, but not the orange. So... Maybe we need another kind of brown. La 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 la. Fray, fray, fray. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of this. This. Nope. Not loving it. That's a little better. A little better. We can add some threads that are not white. And you can add some threads. There we go. We're getting there. And then a little piece. Just a, a single. Yeah, I can't get away from wanting to use my little twigs and bark. And we'll save this one for over there. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to do on this one. And then this one. That's mostly okay. Threads, what color threads? Most of my threads here are the wrong shade. Brenda, I'm the same way with the reorganization, and I don't know if you've been following any of my stuff, but I've been reorging my space for the last um, three months, I hate to say. And it's very hard to work. You, you can't be creative when everything is all over the place. So I'm hoping this weekend to finish up my stuff because a uh, huge de-stash. I'll be doing a de-stash sale in the future. I had too many things that, you know, my direction had changed and Thank you. I'm, I'm pretty happy with these today. It was not what I thought I was going to do when I went to bed last night. So that's always nice when you can surprise yourself. Okay. And then this one, a long one, it's going to be more likely to break if I keep it long. Let's cut. Oh, and it's split. Okay, that might be even better because that'll give me a flat edge. Well, if I can split this again. Of course, now the other part that I, there we go. Yeah, this is one of my grasses. Well, that's good to know. What I would like is a long piece. 
So, of course, it's going to be persnickety. Come on. No, okay. We'll be creative. We'll be creative with glue. Yeah, and what I, you know, it's really important to store your stuff in a way that makes sense for you. You know, don't look at all these different um, videos of rooms that are set up differently than yours and think, oh, this is what I got to do. And then you can't find your stuff. What I've been doing is pretty much um, pulling out everything that was the same because I had stuff stored in three different places because since I craft in several places and it was nuts. I had stuff, the same thing in several places. So I could never be sure that I was finding everything that I had to work with. And then it's harder to know what containers you need unless you know how much you have of something. So I just started laying everything out on the island in the studio, you know, all the fibers. After I pulled out all the stuff that I was going to get rid of, then I would lay out all the stuff that I wanted to keep. And then I could see, you know, what kind of containers I might need. Oh, oh hopefully that's not too much Fabri-Tac. Come on. Be nice. Move just a little. Okay. And now, like one more dab. Actually, two more dabs. One dab for these threads. Yes, and you absolutely have to try it for a while and see. What I'm discovering now, you know, like I've got a lot of empty shelves right now, which is awesome. Um, I have plans for most of them, but still, it's really nice to have empty shelves. And what I find is I go, go to the space looking for something, and if it's where I think it should be, it feels like then I've got the right spot, like I've, I've found the right home for it. Got a little blue out of there. Okay, now I've got a little bit of Fabri-Tac on the edge of this. So I'm going to play to that. Since we can't really get it off very easily, I'm going to... Actually, I'm not going to do it with the Fabri-Tac. I'm going to do it with a little bit of art glitter glue because I can get the smaller chip in there. I'm going to add just a dollop of glue. And then some of my threads, if I can find the one I want. There we go. Just a little bit of the brown threads. So then it looks like I meant to do that and you're not gonna see the Fabri-Tac as easily, or the, yeah, well, both the Fabri-Tac and the other stuff. Okay, let that sit for a minute while we set this one up and then I'll sew them both. Ooh, five minutes to go. Oh, grapevine is great to use, Suze. And of course, grapes are great to use for eco printing, the grape leaves. My in laws have a humongous grapevine that I am forever harvesting leaves from. And we'll get our grapes in this fall so then I can grow my own leaves. The grapes will be nice too, but you know, I want the leaves. <laughs> Let's be honest, I want the leaves. All right, I'm going to go a little bit over my time because I really want to finish these two. And I like thinking I can do 10 of these in two hours while I'm chatting, which means I could probably work even faster if I wasn't chatting. But I wouldn't have nearly as much fun, right? Okay, Ugh, should have brought a skewer or something just to... And don't be surprised if you do these and your, your threads sometimes start to, you know, like they didn't all get connected with your glue or your sewing. That's part of the charm as they start to fall away. All right, now my little guy's here. How do I want to do that? Well, let's just do a little dab of Fabri-Tac.
which is really hard to do just a little dab with the glue. Okay, put the lid on that. And now I'm just going to take some of these little guys. I want the dark side up. And I want them staggered a little bit. Ah. And of course, I know where my tweezers are. In. Oh, they actually are in here. Good. That will help. I want this the other way. Okay. Three is good. All right, let's get a needle. We will zip, 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 and see how we can do through these. Oh, Netta, you do need your shelves. I thought he was getting on those. Yes, I agree. Much more fun crafting and chatting with friends. Besides, you know, if you guys weren't here with me, then what would happen is what's been happening for the last three months is, you know, I'll start to do something and then I'll think, oh, I better go put that away. And then I'll find something that I forgot I had and I get sidetracked and I don't finish something. Brenda, I'm the same way. When we, um, we bought our fixer upper here a few years ago, and when we got to my studio, we took out part of a wall, so it's open to the living room. And in the living room, I have two big desks, so I craft in there, and then I've got the studio. And then we just have a little one-car garage, and half of that is mine. No cars go in the garage. The joys of living in California, we don't have to really worry about that. Gosh, this piece of cinnamon bark almost looks like a shell in here. Oh, yay, Nettie, because I know you've been working on trying to get your space organized, too. you got to be able to see what you have. And you got to put the stuff that you're going to use all the time closer at hand. Okay, tweezers. I want that little bit of white out of there. coming slowly. There we go. That's better. Yeah, a lot of my reorganization has been, you know, putting stuff in easier to get to locations. I am really happy with these today. I really didn't know if I was going to like them when I started doing them without the stones, but oh, I got a knot right there. That's going to be a bugger. That's going to be a bugger. Let's see. Can I get it through? Uh, please. Yep. Okay. Let's knot this off and do it again minus the uh, knot in the thread. Obviously, I am not an expert sewer because I do that kind of thing all the time. <sighs> all right. Let's get one more thing of brown. I already have it right here. Hey, Took. Yeah, a lot of people are having trouble. You know, we've got a lot of winds here, too, so I'm not sure what end it's on. Oh, yeah, Nettie. I would never go down to the basement to look for stuff. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, Brenda, you know, the, the nice thing about the fixer up or two, though, is you can do it your way. I mean, we've been working on this one for five years now, and we're at the, the other end. I mean, we're not done, but we're closer to the end than the beginning. And I'm glad that, you know, I mean, it must be nice if you have the money that you can go in there and say, this is what I want and do it all at once. But we've enjoyed doing it over time because we know we're getting, you know, what works for us. But I don't think that really needs any more. I think I'm going to call that one done. We just need one more. That won't be too much over my time. All right. Sewing, hand sewing through the fabric tack is sometimes challenging, but just get some stitches on these little sticks here to hold them in place, and then we'll take a look at everything that I got done today. Ooh, don't like that. Hmm. Huh. These guys might need something else. Another something, something on it. Maybe just a few of these brown threads on top. Yeah, I like that better. You know, you can always adjust just on the go. really loving I mean the wind is um, just going like crazy so I love because I can have all the doors and windows open fresh air but I was going to do a load of laundry but I know if I put it out on the deck to dry it would be blowing over so I will wait Just that little thing on the top of it just made a difference to me. So I find it hard to do collage on camera because I tend to want to walk by and look at it and change it and then go back and move something around. I think that'll hold that. of this junk out of the way and then we can see what we got done today all right let's see if i can do i have a piece of white paper i think i'll show up a little more for you No, oh, maybe not. Maybe the white doesn't work. <laughs> does that take away too much of the light? Oh, I guess it does. Interesting. Takes away too much of the light. Is very much on there or not? There's one. Two. Does it? It's not going to focus as much there. Three. Four. This one might be my favorite. Five. This one might also be my favorite. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And I'll do some pictures and put them up on Instagram and my Facebook page and my groups and things so you can see them a little better because I don't have the autofocus on the camera because it goes in and out and in and out and in and out all the time. But that's it. There's 10 more nature clusters and I really am 
thankful for you guys hanging out with me. Uh, yeah, what Nettie said, on the highlight, you put the ampersand in front of the name, and that way um, the person that you're talking to sees it a little bit more. Thank you. Oh, hi, Diane. You came in right at the end there, or you've been lurking and I didn't see you. So that's all I have today. I will be back next week, and do not be surprised if I'm doing the same thing. Uh, just because I want to, like I said, stay focused on finishing my reorg um, before I start another project and making a big mess. So everybody have a great creative week, and I will see you next Wednesday, noon California time. Uh, stay safe out there, all right? Thanks for hanging with me. Oh, you just flew in. <laughs> all right, well, you can go watch the replay in a little bit. Thanks again, people, and thumbs up. I appreciate those. Bye for now.